Colonel. Two things. Um, what was said earlier as to the mode of selection or election, what is ha happening in Nigeria is not new. In Scotland, there was no election for delegates to the National Conference. The civil society, the church, and all the collegiate of bodies, representative bodies, nominated people. And I, li I have a home in Scotland. You know? So I'm not saying what we've done here is nothing new. The issue is, uh, will the outcome be decided by the people? That's one. Secondly, going back to the reference you were reading of the president, there's a mistake in, I must say, in a, a humbly say, People are carried away by the melting pot approach to federalism in, of America. America is a country that people came from other countries into. But in a country where you have people who have been living, landowners have been living with time, usually they go the way of ethnic federalism. A country as old and as civilized as Switzerland has ethnic federalism. So the issue of people trying to derogate ethnicity and it's it's very Sweden, it's a Switzerland, is ethnic federalism. And the practicality of going ethnic federalism is very important. Nobody can deny me being a bookie man. Because if you look at the Soviet Union, the the former Warsaw, Warsaw countries, mm -hmm. you can call us of names, but the Russian remains a Russian. You know. A, a Serbian remains a, a Serbian. So a Yoruba man remains a Yoruba man. It's very critical. Mm -hmm. Let us not be pretending. You see, Ethiopia did that for a long time. When Ethiopia, if you remember, Ethiopia was so poor that even uh, they had to do, musicians have to sing to feed the Ethiopians. Mm -hmm. But when the Ethiopians got to grips as to the reality of what they are and went for ethnic federalism, Ethiopia is now the fastest growing country in Africa. What exactly do you mean by ethnic federalism? Now, where you have landowners, as you say, the Shekiris have lived in the land, the Igbos have lived in the land for long, you cannot but have a federation that recognizes these nationalities. Mm -hmm. They are nations. You know, so Nigeria is a country of many nations. Mm -hmm. So once you recognize that in the structure, it is then that you can come with, arrive at a Nigeria. But if you go the American approach, which is of people who are immigrants coming up there, this is what Nigerians tend to think, and that's what you were reading about the, it's not, it's yeah. not possible in Nigeria. You cannot kill the feeling of a man being a Buki man, a Yubo man being a Yubo man. Mm -hmm. Now, and this, this uh, idea was recognized in the 1963 constitution. It is just because my colleague in the military, I call them the, military, the politicians in uniform, hijacked the process for their own interests, that they distorted the federalism. All we are asking for is a return to what is really federalism. We're not asking for anything more. Okay. okay.